Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about coils. Yes, um, I've been receiving some requests on Instagram and stuff on how to make coils. Some people don't know how to make coils and they want to learn like how to do the, how to get started. So today we're going to start with a single strand coil. Then we're going to do a parallel coil and then we're going to do a twisted coil. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this with the coil master. And I'm showing you guys how to do this with no tools whatsoever, just screwdrivers or anything you might have at home. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, we need to start talking about what kind of wire are we going to use. Um, these two are the most common ones, being camphol and nichrome. Um, you have other ones, like for example, stainless steel and, and titanium, but we're not going to cover these. Um, so, which one should we use? I recommend using camphol um, because it has the uh, lowest ramp up time uh, and it's really easy to work with, or nichrome. If you've seen on like on those Instagram pictures and everything else, you know, the, the ones that turn blue after you heat them up, it's Nichrome. Today, I'm gonna be using Nichrome because I don't have much of the Campbell one and I'm gonna save it while I have loads of Nichrome. This is actually really cheap. You can get it off of eBay for, I don't know, it's roughly like four or five pounds for a big ass spool uh, for 50 meters, I believe. Um, in dollars, it would be like six bucks or something like that. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, one thing you need to know is how gauges work. So the higher the gauge, the thinner the wire is gonna be. Um, and also the resistance changes as well. So as a starting point, and without going into much dwelling into it, stick with 26 gauge or 24, roughly that, because um, it's easy to work with. So to do a simple coil, a single strand coil what we can use actually we can use uh, a coil master which we've, we've showed on a video before and that's what i'm going to show you guys how to do the first coil and then i'm going to show you guys how to do it using just a standard screwdriver all right so let's get started to make a simple a single coil you just grab a little bit of the wire put your set of pliers you cut it out make sure that the spool doesn't go wild because they tend to go wild once you cut them and this is what you get so, you grab a coil master, you select the gauge that you want on a coil master, and you literally insert the wire in, and then you put the top of the coil master, and you literally, let's see if this is gonna focus, you literally start rotating. You, do, you don't have to put too much pressure on it, because um, it will overlap, you don't want them to overlap, so you usually do like four, five, or six reps, depends on, on how much you want. I usually go for five, and there you go, you take it out. Usually what I do as well is I rotate the coil, put it back in, just, just so I can make the this leg a little bit straighter, and then with the pliers, I just cut the excess. Just make sure that this doesn't go in your eyes, because sometimes they do tend to uh, shoot off. And see if this is gonna focus there you go there you go see simple coil done now I'm gonna show you how to do the coil using a screwdriver it's the same principle you just don't have the the coil master to guide you on how to do it so you grab your wire you cut it you make sure that the spool doesn't go crazy and then you literally grab your screwdriver you need to make sure that the screwdriver is on doesn't have any grooves on otherwise it will affect the the loops of, of the coil and then what you do is with your thumb you get it stuck and you literally just wrap it around it takes a little bit more time you just need to make sure let's see if this is going to focus at the wraps don't overlap focus i'm going to show you the end product so it does take a little bit of practice, um, but you can easily make one without a problem. So I did like five or six reps, I wasn't counting. Same principle, you take it out, put it back where it was, adjust the leg, cut the excess, 
and let's take it off. See if this is gonna focus. There you go. Your coil. See, it's not perfect, but for handmade, bearing in mind that then you're gonna have to adjust it, squeeze it, and everything else once you uh, once you put it in your mod on your R RDA, and uh, there you go. Simple as simple as pies, as they say. Now, let me just clean this up. For the next one, we're gonna do a parallel coil. Now, parallel coils use the exactly the same principle. The only difference is you just get a little bit longer wire. All right? Some people tend to, uh, you know, straighten it out. As you can see, there's a little bulge here. I usually don't, it never affects that much, but you can always do it, and I'll show you guys later how to do it. So, you take a little bit longer strand, and you cut it, okay? And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna bend the wire. You'll actually bend it in a wire, and you can use, use your, I usually use pliers to do this. You're just gonna squeeze this end, okay? And then, it's the same principle. You're gonna put it either on your call master, if it's too much of a thick wire, it will not fit. And then what you do is you can't use the other end of the jig. So you, you put your finger in and then really tightly you start rotating them. See if this is gonna focus. No, my fingers are in the way. I'll show you guys later. So you guys just start rotating and rotating. So bear in mind that if you usually do five wraps, if you do five wraps with a, a parallel coil, you're gonna get 10 wraps. Now, if you wanna do some sick clouds, this is the my favorite build, um, because the principle is, increases the surface, the contact surface with the coil, and uh, with the cotton, therefore, more clouds, more heating, and etc. So there you go, so same thing then. Um, you can cut it, or if you have a set of pliers, you can actually like twist just a little bit, so it, but you need to make sure it doesn't deform the top. You just twist a little bit so it just makes it easier to go on your RDA. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to cut this. Cut this to match. Take it off. And see if this is going to focus. There you go. A parallel coil. Alright. Now, same principle. I'm going to do it again. But this time without the coil master. Grab the wire. You're gonna cut it. You're gonna bend it in half. Okay, squeeze the tip. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your screwdriver and you're gonna put your, same principle, your thumb. And then you're just gonna start rotating it. So you do one lap, two laps, three, four, and five. Okay, and then you take it out, you put it back from the other side, so you just can adjust the legs and make sure everything is nice. And then, grab your pliers, you cut the excess, and there you go, see if this is gonna focus. Voila, your parallel coil. So, there you go, that's a two out of three. And now we're gonna do a twisted coil. Now, twisted coils, you can do them uh, with a drill or you can do them without a drill. Um, there's a lot of videos there on how to do it. Uh, it's like clapton coils, fused claptons, everything else with drills. Um, but if, on, if you don't have one and if you wanna try a uh, parallel coil, uh, a twisted coil, it, it becomes a little bit more complicated. Now, there is a way to do it, but it will take time and you will use a pen. So what you do is you take a really long strand of wire. Bear in mind, the longer it goes, the longer it will take you to actually build it. So then you cut it. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna grab both ends and you're gonna wrap them around a little bit. Okay, so just rotate 
rotate and then just stretch it out a little bit. Now what you're going to do is with a normal set of pliers and a screwdriver or a pen, I would definitely advise you to do this with a pen. So you grab and you put pressure on this side and with the pliers you literally pinch the other end. And then you have to apply both pressure on both sides. So this hand is pulling and this hand is pulling. And then what you do is you start rotating. You start rotating, you start rotating. Roughly after, I don't know, 15 minutes, uh, the wire will be tight and it will snap. Um, it is time consuming, uh, but hey, if you got free time, you can always do it. Um, I'm not gonna do this because um, otherwise this video is gonna be like half an hour long, um, but it's the same principle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna grab one of my drills and here it is. You can get these really, really cheap. I think this one was like 20 pounds. And what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna, one of the ends, it doesn't matter which one it is, you're gonna put it in the chuck. Just make sure you get this nice and tight. As you can see. All right, and then, with the pliers, you grab the other end and you apply pressure and make sure you rotate to the right side and and then apply pressure and get it stretched until this happens. All right, so it will eventually break and then with the other pliers, you're just gonna get it off and see if this is gonna focus. There you go your twisted coil. And then, same principle. You either get it on um, the jig, this will actually fit, and then it's the same principle. Actually, you cannot use this bit, you have to rotate it, or you grab your screwdriver, put your thumb in, and then you just start rotating it. Now, bear in mind, because we are twisting two wires, it, uh, this one is actually a little bit hard, but you rotate, you got three, four, five, okay, turn it around, just so everything gets nice and tight, let's go one, two, three, four, five, it's actually the other side, I have to undo this bit, get it all stretched out, same principle, remove the excess, Okay, it's being stubborn. And there you go. So, uh, that's how you make coils.